Hey guys, what's going on? It's 85 here. Welcome back to another one of my online races on Forza Motorsport 6. Today, this is a subscriber, a recent subscriber's request. It is my boy Ironic Zero. So thank you for your request, sir. Much appreciated. Basically, he's asked me to do a setup on this McLaren. Okay, it's not the 650S. Okay, it's the other one. So it is the MP4-12C. Okay, in S class. So this is the S class. This is me racing it online. Um, this setup took me phew, 20 minutes. It took me 20 minutes to do, and it's quick in a straight line, as you've seen there. I've just burned that Dodge Viper. Good on the brakes, as you can see there. I'm pretty much catching up to a race car on the brakes. Good at turning, and as you've seen there, I've turned tighter than that new Lancia Delta race car. Well, in you know, straw. Is it straws? Was it Delta? I know it's a Lancia anyway. Okay, just slapped a random paint job on it, you know, the marketplace is nothing special, but at the end of the day, it's a, getting back to the car setup, it's a very, very good setup. Um, in the wet, as you can see here, it's very, very, very good. It doesn't oversteer that much, the oversteer is controllable. Um, you, can dra you can race this car very, very fast. Okay, this is my second race with this car. The first one was in the dry at Sebring, I won that believe it or not, against the tuning clan, BAM, B-A-M, you know, Hunter that was in there, B-A-M, oh, I can't remember the other one, but yeah, as you can see there, just a bit of a, a proof, so to speak, of the oversteer, as I said, I was just, I was spinning them wheels all the way around that left-hander, still getting used to this car, but I'm very, very, you know, intact with the, the physics of the vehicle, so I know pretty much exactly how it goes. Another question this geezer asked me was to do a 458 in S class, so I will do that for you, geezer. I promise you, I will do it for you. Ironic zero, don't you worry. Um, but what I'm more focused on myself is obviously S class because that's where I spend most of my time doing my racing. So um, he's asked me about braking points. Now, braking points is a funny one because it depends on your driving style. Okay, my driving style is very much, I don't know actually, it's hard to explain, because I can adapt mine, you see, like in the rain like this I can be super smooth and very gentle with the throttle and the brakes and the turning, as you can see, you know, I'm not putting a foot wrong, I'm not really putting a foot wrong am I, you know, I'm hitting every single apex, every white line, every braking point, bomb, 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 bang on, what people think they is the best thing to do is brake as late as possible miss the apex right like that that was a perfect corner perfect corner that people think brake it as late as possible is better okay it's not it depends a on your setup on mine you can do it very easily but b it also depends on uh, the type of corner so a corner like this one like i brake early okay square it off, drift it in, like this. That's how I take, that's a perfect corner again. That's how I take that corner. But with this corner, these little S's, the braking point was miles behind there. I cut the corner, straight line it and then brake. People think they should turn and brake. It don't work like that, trust me, because you oversteer and your car gets unsettled and unstable and pretty much you start drifting, oversteering. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. This car for me is very, very good. Um, break, as I've said, braking points on this one are a tiny bit after the red line. But, rule of thumb boys, take ABS off, please. Just take it off. Take ABS off, keep traction control on if you want. You know, it's personal preference for that, but ABS slows you down. Because, what ABS does, picture this. Picture a spinning wheel, okay? that's constantly going round and every time you you when you hold the brake it locks and unlocks yeah so it locks unlocks locks unlocks locks unlocks very quickly hence why you get the black lines when you slam the anchors on because it's locking the wheel okay whereas when you haven't got ABS on like I haven't I don't use it I use nothing bar the racing line and even simulation can steering you know um, 
basically what that does is it allows you to slam the anchors on look at that for a corner <laughs> it allows you to slam the anchors on and not nose dive into corners because your front end's locking 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 unlocking locking unlocking locking unlocking locking it's basically it's slowing you down not slowing you down not slowing you down not slowing you down not slowing you down slowing you do you, not, you get me jest if it, it don't make sense it, like I say it's um, it will stop the wheels moving carry them going stop it moving and it's kind of like I'll tell you what um, nah fuck it basically just take it off please and when you, when you brake if you put half a trigger down, half power, you will outbreak someone with ABS on. Trust me. It will knock a second off your lap time. Trust me. Please. Don't brake later. Brake exactly where the marker tells you to brake. Take ABS off and only use half the power or three quarters if you can watch the bottom right telemetry thing to find out exactly where you are because trust me guys it will it will speed your game up it'll speed your race up speed your lap times up and speed you up to the top of them leaderboards you'll be up there with me you know so that's my one word of advice on braking take ABS off stay from the outside of the track do as much braking as you can prior okay and some corners allow you need you to square it off okay but some corners also need you to attack it if they're long sweeping ones so it's it just depends but that's me winning the race there okay shock by absolute country mile this is the end obviously uh, me just showing you the lap times there um, there's dodge viper just behind me was a second slower he's a good racer by the way a very good racer um but as i said i come out on top but it's just standard procedure for your boy in it, you know. 85 do it quite quite a lot now, so you expect nothing less, I expect nothing less. But this is the leaderboards, this is where it's put me in Europe 59th, I do believe that was. Um there's me just trying to show you top scores just to find out in the world where I am. That's where I am. Okay, it's bear in mind this is a 20 minute cell max. Okay. Just something that I bopped together. Yeah. Tune by as of 85 it'll fit in the top right corner there. S800. Go download it, go and use it, it will blow your socks off. Okay, now the 4 GT4 and the 360 CS are very, very good grippy cars, so but the 4 GT is quick as well. But I won't get into it. They're my friends just to see, you know, show you where about to I'm with my mates. Um, now into the tuning. Power everything is stock bar flywheel I'll show you as you can see there stock ignition fuel system stock uh, fuel ignition stock exhaust I guess correct stock camshaft stock everything is stock bar the end one but I'll show you anyway because obviously I want you to, you to mimic my setup and have the the ability to win races like I can Okay. Um, obviously, there's that. I had the turbos, non stock, in uh, intercoolers, stock flywheel race. There's no particular reason why I've got it there, but I just got it there. Race brakes, obviously, because you're racing, race suspension again, because obviously you can alter the dampers, camber, and all that good stuff. I, I put a, uh, a a roll cage on just to sort of see if it made a difference, and to be honest, it does. And um, the sports weight reduction, no clutch, uh, no gearbox, no drive line. But obviously, I need a race differential to get that differential setup working wonders. Great tyres, race compound. Obviously, be rude not to. Uh, don't know why people use drag tyres. Fucking stupid. Um, width, front and rear are both stock. I just thought it used up too much PI for what it was. Um, I changed the alloys to these ones. Is it five Zygon or something? Five again, whatever it's called. Damn, because it obviously lowers the PI perfect to 800, and the uh, rim size are stock front and rear. 
obviously as you can see there it's got the front and rear splitters I'll show you there there's obviously the front splitter and coming up now in its own time there's the rear boom just like that okay it makes a big difference to me now uh, obviously these are all all stock didn't really change these I could have had the 6 litre V12 but at the end they go for it so there's your proof now this is the actual juicy bit that you've probably all been waiting for there you, there your tire pressures there boom screenshot this gearbox standard because obviously it's a standard gearbox boom 2.2 1.2 minus 1 plus 1 5.8 there's your um, anti roll bars 18 and 22 643 I think that is and 760 I can't read it's all blurry on my screen but 8 and 9 on the front 7275 on the on the bump stimpers downforce full just get that grip in the corner and obviously get me onto the brakes 48% um, just allows me to do that extra bit of trail braking into corners and quite high excel and decel settings because it's quite a powerful car and you know it's a bit unstable on the brakes off the throttle so the hence that's the reason why they're up there's just a bit of a recap on the system on the settings um but yeah boys and girls thank you so much for watching you've been an absolute pleasure an absolute joy to be with thank you all so much for the support that you're giving me i do appreciate it and i really do uh, mean it when I say thank you so much but yeah this is your boy signing out now please like rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time peace out